it now it is really you have to mute others otherwise Wait, i can't start. Sir, start yeah madam it started live started okay madam we can start M madam please unmute madam Saroja, ma'am, you have to unmute yourself. Several times. Is it good now? Perfect. Can you hear me? Good. My dear friends, masters and gods of the universe, I warmly welcome you all to this great platform today. Good day to all the masters who are viewing this program. Welcome to Digital Swadhyaya Yoga program organized by PMC Global along with Swadhyaya Yoga Team India. I am Saroja Gullapalli from Melbourne, Australia and I will be hosting the program today. The purpose of this program, Swadhyaya Yoga, is to spread awareness, spiritual wisdom, by sharing spiritual books. Because as we all know, books are shortcut to enlightenment. My dear friends, we have a great master today on this platform to share his wisdom through this session. I would like you all to welcome this great master along with me, Master Ray Chandran. Namaste, Ray Hi. Chandran ji. Namaste. We are very excited to have you on this platform, sir. My hearty welcome to you. Thank you, sisters. And a warm welcome to all the family who is here today. Love, yes, respect, and gratitude to all of you. Sir, Namaste. Before we Go ahead, sister. Before we start your session, I would like to give a little bit of introduction for just those few people who may not know much, but I'm sure 99.9% .9 on this platform, everyone knows who Ray Chandran Master is. So my dear friends, let me have this opportunity for introducing this great master, Mr. Ray Chandran. He's a spiritual teacher. He's a channel, author, and he's a healer. He's living in Tokyo, Japan, and today he's joining us from Tokyo. He has been on the path of self-discovery for over three decades. And through the experiences and insights he gained in his own self-discovery. He developed many platforms for sharing these insights and he shares them all through his books and workshops that he conducts. Ray Chandran Master was born in India and has lived in the United States and now in Japan. He performs individual channeling session for his clients he has published great articles in Sedona Journal of Emergence. Ray Chandran sir teaches workshops throughout the Far East on the ancient Egyptian mysteries, DNA activation and channeling. He creates soul symbols for his clients and he leads tours of ancient holy places worldwide. Master Ray Chandran, founded the Omran Institute, which promotes DNA awareness and certifies practitioners of Omran 12 strand DNA activation. He also performs individual Omran 12 strands DNA session for his clients. My dear friends, let's welcome our guest speaker and a great master from Tokyo today who has joined us to share his wisdom. Today, 
this great master has got an amazing topic to share with us. Awakening humanity. He's particularly going to talk to us about practical wisdom for everyday life, from consciousness to becoming beingness. What a wonderful topic. Racer, I am a big fan of yours. Your great book, DNA of the Spirit, came into my hand in 2014. When I opened the book that day, sir, and tried to read, I'm being very honest. I could only understand 40% of what was written. Few years later, that is earlier this year when I opened that book, every word just fell into the place. And then I understand the time had come for me to understand the essence of the book. This is what miracles are. When the time is right, you get the message from the great masters the way it should go. Sir, I'll give this platform to you so that you can share your great wisdom with us. I have a lot of questions which I'll save till the end of the session. I'm so excited to have you, sir. Thank you very much, sister. Thank you and warm welcome to the family. Let's raise our right palm, everybody. Let's honor the creator for all the blessings we have, the blessings, the gift of life, and for all things which support us. Thank you. I have a request to make to all of you today. Just hold one thought. There is much more to God than I am aware of. And I am willing to at least open to the possibility of knowing more. Because what will be presented today may seem very, very far-fetched not available in any books or any text, even ancient ones. There is one law in the universe. As we grow more in awareness, newer and higher understandings is brought forth. Also, when we grow in awareness, new and higher chakras will be added on to you. Can you imagine how many chakras Lord Melchizedek has, or Creator has? Now, two things to keep in mind. We as a society are advancing. But are we evolving? Advancing and evolving is two different subjects. If you go back some time, maybe even 50 years, 100 years, you will say we have advanced quite a lot. Yes, advanced in medicine, transportation, engineering, science, everything. But did we evolve as a soul? Not much. We still fight. Whole time we fought with the knives, bows and arrows and spears. But now we fight with the guns. The human evolution did not happen much, very little. Advancing is different than evolution. Hold this thought. Are we evolving? Are we evolving as a soul? And are we al allowing the soul expression in our every moment of our life? People always ask, what is my life purpose? Why am I born? The answer is very simple. To rejoin with the God that you are and to express this God in every moment of your life through every word, thoughts, actions. To join and align with your soul frequency. To live it as a living truth. That is the challenge. 
Now, the changing of the planetary consciousness, new and new tools are being presented to humanity, sometimes on a daily basis. Why? Because we are evolving every day. So, yesterday's truth is yesterday's truth. Since we are evolving and growing, we need new truth for today. Truth is not static. The truth is what is so now. An evolving mind requires evolving truth. But this is very, very difficult for concept to people to accept. Now, all the old teachings, it has its relevance, but it also need to evolve. It need to catch up with the present changing times. As we know, we moved from Pisces to Aquarius age. And we started on December 12, 2012. So we must embrace the teachings appropriate for the Aquarius age. And what are some of the new tools? There are several. I would like to share some of the new truth which I found to be very applicable to me and I found a lot of benefit. One is an understanding going beyond seven chakras, going up to the 33rd chakra. And just two weeks back, you were given information on working with the 56th and the 57th chakra. A human being has a capacity to hold between 90 to 95 chakric energy. But after a certain point, you don't call them chakras, you call them light points. Now, I would like to, today will be a kind of initiation for all of you. We would like you to participate today. It is not just a lecture. It's an experience. We want you to experience. Otherwise, knowledge is power, but wisdom is different than knowledge. For the knowledge to become wisdom, it must be imprinted within your auric field in the physical body. Only then you'll be able to live it as a living truth. So today, we would like to present some information and we want you to participate in this. First, we would like to talk about three things. You may have heard about the pineal gland. Many cultures talk about the pineal gland as the seat of one's soul. It's much beyond. The pineal gland contains your very essence. The fluid from the father, which goes into the mother. When the father releases the fluid, billions, billions of sperm is released. But out of the billions of sperm, only one sperm has the intelligence to create life. And that is running toward the waiting egg of the mother. But what shows this sperm the light? The light of your soul. So your point of origin is in that one cell. That is called the prime cell or the signature cell or the God cell. But what happens is, when the sperm joins with the egg, the sperm also contains all the karmic energies, the baggage, what the father was carrying from himself and from his ancestral lineage. And when it joins with the mother's egg, 
it also carries mother generations of belief system thought patterns so this cell carries not only the light of your soul but also a lot of baggage so if you truly want to make a change you have to make a change in that cell remember one thing life is an effect not a cause you go to the place where the cause started and when you make a change in the cause you will be able to change the effect you can program the cell so this cell sits in the pineal gland and it is called the ceo or the controller of all other cells in the body it sends command to all the cells let us say you want to create something how much do you believe you have the power to create depending upon your belief system the energy will be sent from the pineal to all other cells if your belief is strong then the energy sent is strong and the strongest energy underneath your skin will be the what you will manifest in life but also the pineal contains dna structures contains chakras the ascension chakra contain 17 codes is called the cave of pineal so what's happening now is we are moving away from chakras and going into the pineal the new understanding of spirit is moving away from chakras going into pineal and working with the sacred codes sacred geometry sacred sounds now if you look at the indian god lord krishna he has a peacock feather on his head it represents the fully awakened pineal gland now we can go beyond that because the timeline is very different we are ready as a human being you will work on activating the dna of the peacock feather in that way now there is another gland equally important the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus these are very 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 important when these three are activated then you are able to join different levels of consciousness you are able to integrate the higher chakras so pituitary gland and pineal and the hypothalamus very very important now there are different types of bodies one is you call the physical body other one is called the kinetic body and what is the kinetic body kinetic body is your energy body in action you have energy in the body but the energy unless it becomes a action oriented the energy still remains the same so when people tell you you have potential they are talking about this unopened energy unopened energy must be converted into kinetic energy only then it becomes useful now when you open the hypothalamus the pituitary and the pineal gland it will start affecting the front part of 
your brain, the frontal cortex, which represents the instinct nature within us. Now, this is a space, the difference between ignorance and wisdom. Most of us live from this part, from instinct of survival, this number one. But when we activate it, the energy which goes into this will be shifted for it will start producing certain brain chemicals which will override the low level instinctual energy within us. So today, Babaji brought some new information, completely new information this afternoon. So we would like to work with it. And we want all of you to participate in this. Let's you know, invoke, let's invite Mahavatar Babaji. Hello, my friends. This is Babaji. Welcome to the new you. Be open to the new you. Every moment you are new, as you know. Last moment you are dead. It's finished. You cannot get it back. You are reborn every moment. Be open in the new moment to experience more of yourself. I will present some new tools today which will stretch your mind. But in that, there will be opening. We would like you to all of you to close your eyes and just bring awareness into your sternum area. Your sternum area contains the first DNA given by the great being, the Pleiades. Your sternum area also contains the light which rode on the first cell, or I would say the first sperm which created the cell. That light exists, the original light, into the sternum area. You must bring your attention every day and breathe from the sternum, reminding, it will help you to remember the light, the original light which you brought forth. Breathe through the sternum, release through the back of the body. Now, there are 12 pyramid points in the body. There are many, many pyramidical energy within the human energy. But there are 12 pyramid points you can work with. Two pyramid points are in the hands. Two on the soles of the feet, two in the knees, one in the navel, one in the heart center, one in the third eye, and three in the crown. Just bring your awareness to both of your hands. Open your palms and simply make a statement. I give intention to fully activate the golden and the silver pyramid within my palms now. Simply, I activate the golden pyramid and the silver pyramid within my palms. Some of you who are sensitive to energy will be able to feel a slight warmth or a tingling sensation in the middle of your palm. We are going to go much deeper into this. Could you feel some energy in your palms? Sarva Jagulapalli? Yes, sir. 
It's okay. Up yes. Now, okay, you can bring your hand down. I'll repeat the points once again. Two palms of both the hands. The soles of both the feet. Two knees. One navel. One heart. One third eye and three in the crown. Now, you will make one sound. Try to be aware of these points. Once again, two in the middle of the palms, two in the soles, two in the knees, one in the navel, one in the heart, one in third eye, and three in the crown. We will activate these 12 points and we will make a sound. Oh. Nambro, N -A -M -R -R -O. Nambro. Nambro. Oh. Nambro. Let's do it 12 times. Om Nam Ro. stay in the space. Now these 12 pyramids are connected to the universal consciousness of Lord Melchizedek. Lord Melchizedek is the master of this universe and our earth is a part of this universe. It's important one must become aware of Lord Melchizedek and connect with this master. Because you as a human being, although you exist on the earth at this time, you also exist in the many levels of the universe. One is the galactic level, the solar level, the universal level, multi-universal level going all the way up to the central sun level. But this 12 pyramid is connected to the universal level and this universal level has 12 laws. You are bound by these 12 laws. Once you understand the laws, you can work with the laws. For these laws principally run our life in every moment. I'll give you the name of this laws. The first law is the law of cause and effect. It's called the law of karma. Now, each law has a counterpart to it. The first is law of karma cause and effect. The counterpart is law of grace. Does it mean you can do anything and have grace? I would say in most instances is unless you deliberately take one's life. Taking one's life is the greatest karmic act you can create. 
Many times we do things in our life out of ignorance, out of fear, out of survival instinct. Like a child who makes mistakes several times, but a parent knows the child simply made the mistake because the child did not have the wisdom to know and the responsibility to know about its actions. So you forgive them. Same way, you can request for grace. There is Karmic Council Board. I talked about them in my book, in the Karma book too. This Karmic Council Board consists of 12 masters. Lady Kuan Yin, Palace Athena, Goddess Istara, Master Kutumi, and many others. You can request an audience with the Karmic Council. You can petition your case and the Lord of Karma, working under the divine guidance, the divine director for the solar system has the authority to write off and give you grace. He will shift the energy in your Akashic record. This is a tool offered by Sanat Kumara, Lord Buddha, who is the master of this earth, or Sananda, or they know. This part of law of cause and effect is not working. It has never worked. We come here to balance karma but we end up doing the same thing because we are forgetful. We gave an example before. You borrowed money. You start paying interest. You're not able to repay the full principal amount. You go on paying interest every month. Then the interest becomes more than the principal amount. This is how karma is. You come to earth and say, I will not do it this time what I did before. I have the wisdom, I have the awareness. Yes, you have, and you're on the other side. But how many times you will do the same thing because we are forgetting. So this system of cause and effect is not working at all. And there are beings from other planets, Antaras, Beaming this new consciousness. Come on, guys, wake up. This system is not working at all. Work with the karmic council. You'll be able to shift a lot of karmic energy. They only look at one thing, your intention. Do you take responsibility for what you did? 100% yes. And then what actions are you taking at this time? They do not look at the end result. If you sincerely admit what you had done out of ignorance, out of fear, out of survival instinct, many times they will turn off. This is one of the important law, law of cause and effect, supplementary law, law of grace. You can simply in your meditation request an audience with the Karmic Council board members. If you want, you can invoke the presence of the divine director of the solar system and petition your case. So these 12 pyramids are connected to 12 laws. First law, cause and effect and grace. The second law, law of oneness. Other one is supplementary law of creation. From infinite to finite. Infinite 
cannot experience infiniteness unless there's an opposite to that. If you are only love, you would not know what love is. If you are, there are only tall people in the world, would you know what tallness is? No, of course not. To experience something, you have to have the opposite. It is a second law. The third law is law of energy. The supplementary is law of kinetic motion. What will you do with this energy? How will you manifest it? The fourth law, law of decay, law of new beginning, is represented by Master Shiva. Unless we destroy, we cannot create new things, ending and beginning continuously. Next law, law of chaos, law of tranquility, law of singularity, law of multiplications, law of neutrality, law of coherence, law of stillness, law of action, law of knowingness, law of beingness, law of balance, law of flow, law of bliss, law of freedom. Now these two laws are supported by Lord Melchizedek and his 12 disciples. And these are tied into the 12 pyramidical structures in your life. You can request the meditation and call for these 12 disciples of Lord Melchizedek. To fully activate these 12 pyramids. Now, other point I would like to make aware of all of you is Kundalini is not just in the base chakra. Kundalini exists in all chakras, and all chakras has crown chakra, third eye chakra, and heart chakra. I'll let me show you an example right now. Focus your attention on the base chakra. Get your attention on the base and just breathe normally. And ask, I am giving intention to open the heart chakra within my base chakra. I open my third eye chakra within my base chakra. I open my crown chakra within my base chakra. Each chakra has these three parts into it. You may feel a lot of light. Now go to the second chakra. I open my heart, third eye, and crown chakra within my second chakra. Then the solar plexus, I open my heart chakra, third eye and crown chakra within my solar plexus. Going to the heart chakra, I open my heart chakra. But heart chakra, I open my golden heart. I open my third eye chakra of my heart chakra. I open the crown chakra of my heart chakra. 
going to your throat. I open the heart chakra within my third eye. I open my third eye chakra. Fully. I open my crown chakra within my third eye. We'll go into the crown chakra. I open the lower crown chakra. I open the middle crown chakra. I open the higher crown chakra within me. Breathe it in. Open your palms and say, I now fully give intention to open the Kundalini energy within my palms. I open the Kundalini energy within my heart. I open the Kundalini energy within all my organs. Within every cell of my being, I open the Kundalini. Breathe it in. I open the Kundalini energy within my auric field. I open the galactic Kundalini within my galactic chakra. I open my solar Kundalini within my solar chakra. I open my universal kundalini within my universal chakras. Now bring your attention underneath your feet. I awaken the earth kundalini under the soles of my feet. I awaken the sky kundalini way above. I join the sky kundalini with the earth kundalini within my entire being. Now from the expansive state, breathe and imagine your breath is going 20 meters in all directions. It means you're expanding your auric field at 20 meters. Breathe from the expanded state, 20 meters in the front, left, right, back, top, down. I now fully activate the crystalline kundalini within me now. Oh,
हम ओम साहम ओम नीहम ओम साहम ओम नीहम साहम ओम नीहम क्रिस्टलियन कुंडली ब्रिंग अटेंशन टू द टॉप ऑफ योर है आई नाउ फुल्ली एक्टिवेट the golden pyramid which holds my soul frequency imagine a beautiful golden pyramid in addition to the other pyramid a golden pyramid अतु तेहुती अतु तेहुती अतु तेहुती अतु अतु तेहुती Above this golden pyramid is your ascension star, Anhana. 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 The light from Anhana shower into my brothers and sisters now on the earth plane. Simply chant Anhana six times silently. Anhana, Anhana. I invoke Anhana, 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 Anhana. i give permission myself to receive light frequency the light code from anhana the earth ascension star for ascension is my birth right i have come here to join once again with the god and experience this by joining my soul frequency with my over soul and my spirit self for i am the spirit from atma to paramatma to mahatma i am not my soul i am not my monad i am the spirit self birth from the heart of the god existing as a point of light that is my true nature a bursting point of light this light 
exist within your heart center your spirit self is a beautiful pulsing white flame it resides within your sacred heart there is an important place in your heart where the four chambers of the heart meet is called the inner cave of the heart there exist the diamond core cell of god and within this diamond core cell exist your soul flame your spirit self let your heart become the solar heart blazing with this light joining with the core diamond cell of god breathe in this flame your spirit self speak so slowly softly through your emotional body your mind communicate through your pineal gland your full power of your spirit self exist in a star system the name of the star system is sarva yes a r w a a r r sarva give intention to connect with this energy sarva so that i may once again join with my spirit self we are moving beyond soul at this time why your merkaba your chariot for your soul has shifted from merkaba to merkawa merkara and merkana from 8 point star to a 24 point star so now you are able to connect with your spirit self not just with your soul self breathe into this now do not open the eyes let your palm open your palms and the left palm which is open facing downward bring it around your stomach area or between the stomach and the heart and your right palm also fully open but keep it vertical do not touch the hands so the left palm which is open is facing down and the right palm which is open is vertical bring the vertical hand on top of the left and just breathe in oh
Adonai, Adonai, se yavo. Kadosh, 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 Adonai. Now bring your left hand same position. Your right hand, the thumb touching the bottom of the right hand pinky finger. Left hand remain in the same position. Right hand, thumb touching the pinky finger and bring it in front of your forehead. Just slowly move your right hand up. Left hand stay the same. Increase the light and like a pillar of light is being formed within you. Take your hand as high as possible and see this pillar of light going all the way. Now this has the potential to activate all the chakras up to 33. We'll give you the name of the, some of these important chakras to work with. The eighth chakra is called the soul star chakra, which is eight inches above your head. The next important chakra to work is the 11th chakra called Adhura chakra. Is around 11 inches above the head. Right above that is the chakra called Yamane, the 12th chakra. Right above that is Anhana, the Ascension Star. Next important chakra to work is the 21st chakra. It's called SARS, S A R R S, SARS chakra. It sits around three meters above you. The 22nd, the 23rd chakra, unhead, in five meters. The 33rd chakra, called Adam chakra, seven meters above you. I give intention to connect with all these higher chakras within me now. I open the energies within all these higher chakras. Ima. Ina Ima Ina Ima Ina I call for the Genesis light particles of God. Genesis light particle is the original particles which the Elohim picked up. And this was used to manifest physical reality and everything in the universe. The Genesis light particles consist of plasma, I call forth my Genesis light particle, the original light particle from God. It is the God force that activates new life and new consciousness. You can bring your hand down if you're painting or make a statement with me. 
I give intent to synchronize with my original blueprint and with the creation. Breathe it in. I'll bring your attention to your pineal gland. I am now giving intention to activate and feel the energy by activating the triple peacock DNA within me. The triple peacock DNA within my pineal. I fully open the triple peacock DNA within my pineal gland. I open the law of one chakra in my pineal gland. And I fully awaken the sleeping seeds within my pineal. And I fully activate the crystals within my pineal gland now. Breathe it in. I now disconnect from my personal history. And I join with my soul blueprint. Itama. Itama, ina ito, ina ito itama, ina ito. Next one, very important. I release all the old program of my soul. They open the new programs as of today, this moment, September 15th, state your time. They open my personal star. I open my personal code through which I am known in this universe. Just breathe. Now bring your hand in a prayer position in front of your heart. I accept my sacred divinity in its fullness. For I am a divine being. And I fully disconnect from the magnetic cord underneath my feet. And I align the positive, loving consciousness of the new occurring age. The age of light, the age of moving to light from darkness. 
I align fully with the positive loving light energy of the Aquarian age. I am the truth within me. I am the flame within me. I am the God goddess within me. I am. I am. I am. We want you to call forth these higher chakras every day and work with it. Soul star chakra every day. Adura chakra, the 11th chakra. Yamane, the 12th chakra. Sars. 21st chakra, Anhet, the 23rd chakra, Adam chakra, the 33rd, and connect with the star which holds your entire frequency in a higher dimensional body, Sarva. The more you call forth, the more you will feel. Always remember what you seek is also seeking you. Human beings are capable at this time to hold these higher frequencies within them. Evolution never ends. It's a moment by moment. Continue to seek evolution. Never rest. Always hold the thought. I am Atma. I seek to know more of myself. So there is much more to God. Much more to my divine self. Ready to experience the larger part within me. This is Babaji, the eternal friend. As I have told several of my devotees over and over again, I with other masters will not leave the earth plane till every soul attains nirvana, moksha, asamsha. There has never been a better time on the earth and so much of light is there. And there is so much supporting energy, the technology. People can share their life, their stories, their wisdom, their experiences. Take advantage of this glorious time for the time of harvesting one soul. You have an opportunity in the next few years to attain full liberation and be a service to the world, to the earth, and to yourself. What drives you as a soul every day? What's your passion? Your passion should be to know yourself every moment. Being fully engaged in everyday life. Being a mother, being a householder, being an employee, being a daughter, being a wife. Doing all this, can you still have the awareness? Atma, you are Atma, expressing your divinity while you are doing laundry, while you are doing vacuum cleaning. Can you hold this awareness? That is the key. 
We'll close with a beautiful story. Lord Vishnu. One devotee went to him and he told Lord Vishnu, I am your fervent devotee. I pray to you all waking moments and even in my sleep state. Vishnu said, okay, very good. He said, he took out a spoon and he put a lemon. He said, please walk around this block and come to me. Walk three times and make sure the lemon doesn't fall. He said, okay. He walked around, he came. Vishnu asked him. He said proudly, yes, I, the lemon did not fall. Vishnu said, very good. Did you think about me when you were walking? He said, no, his focus was only on the lemon not falling. That is a challenge. Doing all household work with all the challenges, the family, children, everything. Can we still hold this thought that you are Alpha? The great teacher, one of my devotees, one of the part of me, Sai Baba, he talks about it. Listen to his lectures. No matter how high you go, no matter how low you go, no matter what you do, can you still have that awareness? That is the key. You can do it. We know you can do it. Just take a little bit of training. It's not that you just go to the temple and pray or you just do puja in the morning. Every moment is puja moment. Every moment is a secret moment of God. You don't have to do anything. Just awareness. And most important, appreciation. Appreciation means growth. Appreciation for everything in your life. Can you appreciate Saroja and Suresh for the glasses you are wearing? Can you? Because without glass, without glass, you cannot see, is it not? Yes. How many things we have to appreciate? Toothbrush, can you appreciate the toothbrush? Others you are yes. doing with your hands, brother. The bath towel. Hey, if you look at life, how many things support us on a moment by moment? Is it not, brother? And everything came from Mother Earth, is it not? Yes. When you bring this awareness, knowing that God is in the toothbrush, God is in the towel, God is in my comb, God is in my glass. You are honoring God. You don't have to say toothbrush, thank you. No, it's an inner knowingness, brother. You see? Come to this place every moment. This is said, wherever you look, you look through the eyes of God. You see a beautiful flower. Hey, God, you look so beautiful in the flower. Can you say the Suresh next time? Don't look at the flower. Say, hey, God, you are stunningly beautiful. Or in a black crow. People don't like black crow. Hey, but he does a job, is it not? So everything in the universe, the God consciously exists. When you become aware, you will, first of all, appreciate everything. And you will have respect for everything. The trees, the rivers, everything. When you appreciate respect, you better take care of them. Is it not, brother Suresh? So next time you will not pluck, pluck a flower. You know it's a life force. You will ask permission to the flower. My beloved God, do you like to come so that I may place you at the feet of my God? You see? Your interaction is different then, you see? Everything is alive and you are aware of aliveness. Great love, great respect. A song you are hearing, beautiful song. You enjoy the song. Hey, God, you are with music. This remember, nothing came without God. You see, everything is God. Can we come to this place? This awareness, every moment, everything is God. I'm eating bread. Hey, God, hey, nice tasting bread. Come on. 
Tier one, this appreciation is what growth is. You know, it is said, you do not value the preciousness unless it is lost. Just imagine, Brother Suresh, you traveled, okay? You're looking for your toothbrush. Suddenly, toothbrush is missing. Don't you feel miserable? <laughs> There's no shop to buy. Hey, I have to use my hand. It's not, but that time you'll say, my God, I should have put an extra toothbrush on. You know what I mean? So we only value when it's not there. That's right. Why, why appreciation is important? Because at the end of your life, before you die and after you die, everything is shown to you in a 3D dimension. And that time you will say, my God, I didn't enjoy the sunset. I was complaining. I was talking. I was looking at my phone. You will lose all the experience, you see. Why I didn't appreciate? Why I didn't appreciate? And that guilt can be quite strong. But you are not allowed to judge because you will, we will judge ourselves back. See? But you are shown, and then you are given wisdom. Okay, next time when I come back, but before when you come back, we forget again. You see, so our journey in life is nothing to learn, it is simply remembering once again. Now, what is Sai Baba saying? Spiritual practice is 75% removing what already exists, which is not serving us, and 25% is integrated to higher consciousness. So if you look at remembering, it's called remembering once again. With whom? The family of God. Because you are a plural being. You have your lower self, middle self, higher self. And your soul has many levels, you see. 144 levels of soul. So we are a group being. So you're coming back to remember once again in the family of God. Every human being has 144,000 energies integrated into them. Your guides are part of your energetic field. This is what he said. You are a micro of the macro. Come back into the body. Body is not a terrible thing which people teach. Body is a magnificent tool. Without body, can you experience anything in life, Suresh? No, 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 no. This way, great masters, before they leave the body, they thank the body, is it not? When was the last time you talked to your body, Suresh? Ask the body what it needs. It will tell you, maybe I want to take a walk. Maybe I want to drink this. Body cannot lie, you see? Body has great wisdom. Now the mind works from the past, a past experience. Anything you want, immediately mind will relate to that past experience. We have said this before. Saroja is hungry. Suddenly, what should I eat? All the taste buds will be opened up. All the foods what she ate before. Maybe I will go and eat a pizza today. Maybe I will eat curry. It doesn't matter. But if you ask the body, what does it need today? Maybe I need green leaves. Come to the body. And one of the great philosopher, Deepak Chopper, he talks about it. Talk to the body. The body has wisdom. But where is the most wisdom in the body? Under the feet. Why? Because you are placing your feet into the ground, Mother Earth body. And who has the highest wisdom? Mother Earth. That's why it is said to know God, you have to know Earth. Only when you can fully integrate the consciousness of Gaya. You cannot know God. And let me ask you, Suresh, do you think God is above? But how did we think that God is above? It started when we were very, very small, Suresh. When we were babies, what do you do? Lying on your four, okay, back and left legs up, up, like this, like this, you know, when you're really small, almost six months old. And for the baby, the parents are God. Why? You're fed. You are clothed, you are given love, and you are nurtured and safe. Everything comes from father, mother, God. So the baby look, and the father or mother picks up the baby. The impression is God is up because the baby cannot look down. This is how we started there. God is above. No, God is everywhere. 
come to the body, work with the body. Only the body can experience everything. And this is the new teaching will be going to come. Now, Master Jesus, he talked about understanding God through human love and heart. Compassion, forgiveness, love. Master Buddha, he talked about God understanding through wisdom and the mind. Master Muhammad, he talked about the soul. But nobody talked about the body, you see. This is a new level of understanding. All these three must be incorporated in the physical body. Because if you look at life, very difficult to make a change in the mind. But if you make a change in the physical body, mind will naturally change. This is why it's important you take action and the body gets the message. Very, very difficult to change the mind. The mind is very strong. It doesn't want to lose. It will fight. It will play tricks. It will bring many things. Logic thinking, intellectualization. What's the point of doing anything? Nothing is going to work out. There is change in the body. It will be shift. This is why Buddha, he knew about it. And he taught through mudras. If you look at any picture of the Buddha, he's always doing some mudra. Because mudra represents meditation of the body. He'll give you one final mudra. Bring your hand like this, brothers. Left hand. Left hand open. The right hand, index finger. Suresh, bring your hand down. Hand, hand like this, down, down. L left hand, left hand, left hand down. Yes, yes. Now bring your right hand like this. Yes, exactly. Like this. Yes, sir. Like this. Yes. Yes. Put it, put it in the left hand, Le left palm. Put it, yes. And then close your eyes and lift your head up. Lift the index finger fully. In a matter of few minutes, you will be still. You will feel stillness. This is called oneness. I am an individual being, but I am part of the whole and my individuality fully fits with the universal orchestra. That means I am in complete harmony with the universal consciousness. Three minutes, you will feel so still. We like to give you two more mudras. Please open your eyes, everybody. Like they say, your middle finger and ring finger. Go, yes, like that. Yes, exactly. Okay. Left hand. No, sorry, right, right hand, right hand, right hand. Suresh, right hand. Yes. Left hand like this. Left hand only index finger. Bring it in front of the right hand around right shoulder, left hand, left shoulder. Buddha of Lord Vishnu. Again, the mind will go blank very soon. Yeah, this feels very grounded, sir. Very, very good. Ground. You will feel very, very good right away. Very, very soon there will be a stillness coming. And the final one. You touch your thumb with the ring finger. You can do one hand or two hand, doesn't matter. Make the right hand a little bit higher. Yes, and left hand a little bit down. It represents joining of the three selves within you always. The lower self, the middle self, and the higher self. I am a three-part being and I join this three-part within me. And all my thoughts, my actions are coming from this three place. Now what we can do is 
imagine an upside down pyramid on top of your head a golden pyramid and all your thoughts are coming into this pyramid what happen is if you start bringing your thought in awareness you will see your thoughts will become more clear a pyramid will hold all the energy and slowly filter it through the point so the pyramid is upside down the point is touching here bring all your thoughts and also you can bring all your words you want to bring it here it will narrow down to become crystal clear the thoughts and the words you will be able to hold the same thought in all three bodies and when the thoughts and the words become vertical and goes into the ground manifestation can happen much faster so when you are confused imagine this pyramid on top of the head and bring the confusion into this pyramid you will see your mind will settle down very soon these are pyramidal structures are very powerful energies they have the capacity to transform energies in this you become an empowered human being you are not at the mercy of what's happening in life we have come here to take the power in our hands okay we have created this karmic energy but now we also have the power to uncreate recreate transform transmute and also there is no failures in life as you know experience something it may not work it means is, is it a failure no did not work out in the way you wanted it but i learned from it i grew out of it so taking action not being afraid i am going to fail with this we will close for now and for the next 10 minutes we have a special gift for you are you ready for the special gift of course sir yes we want everybody to close your eyes we will activate kundalini are you ready now everybody yes just close your eyes then we with the last 20 minutes we will take questions and answers pertaining to what we discuss close your eyes now this particular way of kundalini was given to me by the snakes itself the snakes called me one day to go outside and i saw two old cobras and then they asked me to come near them and sit with them and they started making sounds they told me that this sound has a capacity to awaken kundalini the easy way so i'm going to make some sound just like the snakes you want it to just stay close your eyes you don't have to do anything
Mahila Kunti Vajra Kunti Samala Kunti Da Li Ni Kun Da Li Ni
this completes our short transmission. You may slowly, slowly open your eyes. That was amazing, sir. Thank you, sister. Thank you all very, very much. And the last, you know, last 20 minutes, we will take some questions if you have any questions at this time. Anuradha, see if there are raised hands and uh, we'll see if we can take any questions. There's a sigh, yeah, there's a sigh, Ravindra Prasad. Go ahead, please, go ahead. Sir, actually, I'm Hello, sir. a session in my Muladhara Chakra while you're uh, activating the Kundalini. Hello. Sir. Good sister, uh, good, good, okay. Sai Ravindra Nath kindly speak. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Ask your question. Uh, has he unmuted himself? Ah uh, yes, sir. Hello, listening? Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Your voice is audible. Ah, uh, uh, sir, uh, are you listening, sir? Yes, yes, yes. I am here. I am here. Uh, yes, I am. Sir, uh, uh, what, what is the meaning of uh, the healing with? Uh, uh, Agnikana, Bijakshara as Agnikana, uh, the Bijakshara in the form of photon energy and healing in the quantum level, quantum DNA level. See, we will take questions to what we discussed today. No, but uh -huh. that's a very, very big topic, you know, we cannot go into that. But is it you can, yeah, is it exist? You can, you can access this energy, yes. But remember one thing there is one important rule in the universe we uh -huh. are only become aware of the energy at the resonance field in which we, our consciousness exists at this time. Mm. But you can call for this energy, you can work with energy, but today we gave you many of the higher chakras. When you work with higher chakras, you will be able to download many of these energies to work with. Yes, you can, you can, you can. But work with the Lord Melchizedek because he's a master of the universe and you can call on this master to anchor higher frequency including photon and plasma energy. Yes. What you can do is before you go to sleep, you make a request that you wish to go to the ashram of Lord Melchizedek, the master of the universe and request for this master to anchor the energy of the photon and the plasma energy into you. Making a request in the night is one of the highest forms of spiritual evolution. Your learning happens during sleep time. Saurav Ahuja, you can speak. Yeah, uh, hello sir. Thank you for the wonderful session and uh, your wisdom sharing. It was really, uh, great learning. I just have a question, sir. The mudras that you just showed us, the last three mudras, uh, uh, can we practice this daily? And uh, is there any kind of specific uh, time or any specific thing that we need to take care uh, before practicing this? My, my dear Saurabh, let me tell you, this is Babaji. All rules are man-made, brother. You go with your innermost wisdom and let your heart tell you how much time. There is no time, brother. It does not matter how much time we do. The intention is the main thing. Why you do things, brother, that is what will draw the energy. You cannot fool the universe. Even if you do one minute, but done with a love in the heart and appreciation. But I have a gift to all of you. I will send to Sai. I, there are around... One of the books I publish is called Dance of Hands. I will send a PDF version of the Dance of Hands to all to Sai and Sai that has more than 125 mudras. Not what I showed, but there are many mudras, and you can send this book to all the people as a, my free gift to everybody. And there are all 125 pictures, and you can practice. And again, there is no rule, there is no time how much time you do. Let your innate wisdom guide you, brother. 
but Thank hold you, one, but sure. hold one important question next time you go to do bhajan you go to the temple you pray you meditate what is the purpose the intention behind the action you see i am going to the temple for that i may clear my mind and using the spiritual energy in the temple raise my vibrational frequency so that i may once again realize my soul self you see so intention is the key anything you do that i am doing this offering to god so that my mind is more open and clear so i may access my soul's love and wisdom you see intention 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 plays a very very big role okay saurav Yeah, thank sir, you, sir. Thanks, sir. Ray, Ray, sir. Yes, sir. So, just a quick clarification regarding intention. So, even when we do our daily meditation practice, so should we be putting intention before every meditation practice that we do? No, but when you wake up in the morning, you can make an intention. Everything I do today is to raise my light quotient within me. Everything. every word i say everything i do is intention is to through this action through the love i'm going to express through my words through the action intention is to raise the vibe just one time in the morning okay thank you go ahead any other question from anybody anyone else raising hands here uh, anuradha i can't see anyone else even uh, sai krishna yeah i th- i think i'll i'll just have a quick one sir you have been yeah. talking about this three three yes. parts of suresh suresh babu sir came madam yeah yeah, yeah so just let me finish this three, three parts yeah. of self you have been talking re yes um what is the middle part i understand the lower and the higher but i didn't understand the middle part of that self that you were talking the lower self is the instinct part the in, the through which we live in, through instincts survival part which is basically the energies of the base chakra the second chakra base chakra instinct second chakra relate to the actions we base on instinct and third chakra relate to the emotion relating to these three okay the next one is the our fourth and fifth chakra the middle part we are touching the soul but not all the time you see yeah in and out in and out to be fully present with the higher self then you have to join the higher parts so that always we are in touch with our soul frequency yes yes so this, this simple mudra and you can look into the picture of jesus you will you can see if you go to israel you will see always this picture yes that means i am joining this three part all the time everything i do is coming from this three place within me no okay. sister sorry the ring finger the ring finger sorry the ring finger yes okay great anything any question from anybody thank you yes yeah, raman ji god go ahead so rash no? rash babu sir yeah. you can yeah. ask yeah. Please, uh, Ray Chandraji. Yes. Yeah, uh, today is of course a great day. We were able to know a lot, um, so many aspects, sir. so many sir, uh, points sir. like love, karma, uh, appreciating our uh, body and the chakras, uh, chakras. And more higher chakras, and what not, everything. Uh, how we could uh, realize ourselves as a god, uh, everything. Of so many aspects you touch. But uh, you also told that uh, our karmas can be cleared by applying to the counselor uh, karmic board. Yes. Uh, yeah, the, is it possible, uh, right, Ray Chandraji? Can you please a uh, uh, one point? Uh, it is po- of course it's possible, and so yes. many people have done it. Okay, yeah, I, I, yeah. I will I will offer a gift to you. Uh, yeah. I had a, I had a workshop uh, just uh, last week and with a group from Taiwan, and there was a guided meditation on this. from lady kwani uh, it has a translation in chinese but i speak and translate it it's a 35 minutes meditation it's very powerful and she really takes you into that and the intention and the karma count i had done it several times uh, especially for the book on karma and everything else and not only me many many people have done it 
what they are only looking as one thing mm. do we take responsibility in everything yes. and you know and what are you doing what actions you are taking that's it and there's a lot of yes, yes, because this is a gift given this is the fifth time in the world five times before grace was given 100% but we did not learn we made mistake again and again and again so this time grace is given on an individual basis because that means you become responsible in your life this is what karma counts looking hey guys it's your you had whether it whatever happening is your then something happened past life so you must take responsibility and that's all they want yes many 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 people have life changes yes 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 so is and there a process sir how do how we do that or we can just say from the bottom of our heart we can do from the bottom of the heart but also there is a process i think i sent to her please her did you get it her I, i will send it sir i will yeah. send to yeah. suresh ji kon in yeah, one i will send it sir and how was please. your response how was your thing did you it was wonderful sir it was going from from first chakra to last and higher self also sir yeah and so he he has the is 35 minutes and if please share with all the people it sure, is just sure. very recently sure. done on no. uh, sunday okay sure okay. sir sure so, one thing brother suresh now this is yeah. what baba ji says and i also know that see we have to be open to new ways of doing things because brother if you do the same thing we get the same result yes if you if you want a new result yes and then yeah. the beautiful thing is this does not conflict with what we in our religion or nothing there's no there's no conflict at all it's a supplement to what we are doing see our basic idea is we want to purify as much as we can so that we can hold more light that's the idea you know yeah wonderful sir thank you wonderful. yeah thank you, thank you. ramandeep kaur please unmute yourself sir what is the difference between sir dna activation and kundalini activation there are they are all very similarly connected dna kundalini and shaktipat they are interrelated but see the dna also has 145 layers of dna kundalini has 145 layers but the idea is to if you activate dna and work with the kundalini we can more easily move into our original energy which our intended where we are going it is called uh, omega consciousness omega consciousness is way beyond third dimensional reality of cosmic effect it is the energy of master jesus he is the perfect example where we are completely in touch all the time with the fifth dimensional higher frequency so dna activation helps in kundalini and kundalini activation helps the dna but again remember we are only not we are, see science talks about only the two layers of dna and the 10 layers they call junk dna but junk dna has lot of uns, you know secrets yeah. but but we have 12 bodies you see interdive other body if you look at the hands of gods many gods they have many hands you see many hands it represent their interdimensional aspect so same way we have dna in other bodies your chakras in other body is called parallel lives alternate lives we have to bring all this together and when you start bringing more and more this is what ascension means ascension means we are bringing all our parts up to a certain point and we become whole one second but again ascension is just very tiny part there is much more to ascension you see so it's basically integration can, can we give, yes, can basically we basically exactly integration of ourselves yes sir all all yes. realities all chakras it's a never ending process see now we are working yes. with the 56 57 chakra you know so integrate yeah. integrate integrate yes harpreet harpreet singh ji you can deep for someone there ramandeep kaur and rama sita is also there they wanted yes, ramandeep yes. kaur yes yes uh, i am ramandeep kaur here yes sister go ahead sir i uh, sir i uh, want to tell one thing uh, i had not uh, attend any physical workshop uh, of you 
but uh, during the webinar i had some initiations and uh, today at four o'clock i saw uh, your aura in my room and you initiate me and suddenly i uh, stop uh, my laptops my phones and i uh, i could feel uh, one uh, yeah Uh, one uh, group of uh, snakes uh, cobra link they initiating me on my crown chakra is uh, rotating and that uh, uh, that scene now i am attending your uh, this uh, workshop i am feeling that at 4 o'clock what will happen what will happen at 4 o'clock that uh, i am relating uh, this uh, uh, this time ki that time at 4 uh, pm something was happened to me and uh, before day two day before uh, one uh, feminine energy uh, she is uh, she is to uh, asking me i am a goddess of sound and one week before uh, one uh, masculine energy is coming to me that uh, asking me i am shiva and all that behind i saw you So, so can you explain me sir about this sister you are now awakening you are awakening yeah. very 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 fast so yes, what sir. is important to remember one thing ji you, you must protect every day okay why okay why because when we start awakening yes our light is quite strong very bright Okay. our light also can be seen by beings on the astral plane okay okay astral plane are the people who passed away but did not go to the light because of their own belief system they got stuck okay so okay. Ma many beings can come masquerading as masters or light into okay. our auric field and they can talk to us so you must protect and always ask only the highest loving energy i allow myself into my being okay but i think what's happening to you is like hello my sister this is baba ji is very true you must protect but what's happening yes. to you is the kundalini awakening yes sir and you may have kundalini awakening tonight in the next within the next 3 days so yes sir med meditate imagine yes, a beautiful sir. white lotus on top of your head yes sir and uh, there is a possibility that you may not be able to sleep for the next 3 days too much you will be waking up in the middle of the night couple of times and you will feel very strong energy but what's okay, important sir. is you bring the energy yes sir gra ground the energy okay the best kundalini is you moving the kundalini from the tailbone to the crown and yes, then sir. bringing it all the way from the front of the head into the stomach area Okay, okay, okay. Why? Because then you are able to hold the energy, and the yes, energy sir. you can use it in your daily life. Yes, sir. But always remember one thing. Yes, sir. In a polarized world, okay, there is always the dark and the light. Okay. And the minute that the dark can masquerade as light. Yes, sir. So you must protect. And yes, go sir. The feeling. So always ask every day, morning and evening. I am asking yes. God yes, light to come and cover me with the golden light of God, and I'm okay. completely sealed and protected in all ways. Okay, okay. And in the evening uh, before you go to sleep, yes, I sir. am asking God light to come and disconnect me from any energies which I may have yes. picked up today, which is not of light. And okay, most sir. important okay. thing. i yes. protect myself during sleep time because sleep time we are more vulnerable you see okay now this the problem is in the world lot of light but so there is yes, also sir. lot of interference to stop the yes, spreading sir. of the light you see so protection yes, yes, becomes sir. very 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 important okay sir one more thing sir uh, always one bird is uh, always with me where i go where i uh, go in my seminar uh, webinar even i in my yoga studios always one bird is bird a small bird is with me always why don't you channel the bird he's part of your guide group yes yes talk yes, to the bird sir. okay okay sir okay thank you sir thank you well, one more one more participant rama sita please ask
अनम्यूट यू सर नमस्ते नमस्ते रे सर नमस्ते नमस्ते आई एम राम सीता फ्रॉम हैदराबाद I am doing you a hot meditation, sir. I am. It is very touching to me. I am feeling the feeling of oneness in that uh, hot meditation. Okay. It is. It is very happy to me to uh, to tell to you that I am uh, very much attracted to that uh, hot meditation. I am doing and feeling the oneness. How to continue it in the all the time means? Will you give me a small uh, suggestion for me? All the time I have to be in oneness. Sister, oneness does not mean running away from anything. Oneness means being in the world fully involved. Can you be in oneness with the awareness that you are part of God, Goddess? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That that's it. Just that awareness that awareness. I am. Yeah, just yes. simple aware. It requires a bit mind. Mind is okay. Now you are always, you know, thinking what you're thinking because thinking can take us down, down, down. So controlling the thoughts, always yes, watching sir. what thoughts. And if, and in, of course, negative thoughts always can come. But we have the power. Which thought we want to give power? Which thought we want to let go? Sometimes yes. what happens? Negative thoughts we cannot lose control. They are so strong. Immediately bring a higher thought, or I am the soul. I am the soul, because it takes ninety seconds for a new thought to be imprinted into the mind. So we can change the energy of the thought in the ninety seconds. So you bring a higher power thought, or in anything. I am beauty. I am grace. I am unity. I am joy. I am love. And just repeat that for ninety seconds. And the thought which was holding a prisoner has the potential to loosen his grip. Thank you so much, sir. But I'm I, very I, glad. I, I, I gave you one sound for you. You can work with it every day. Yes, you sir. Just, yes, you sir. Just, you just chant and meditate in the sound slowly. Yes, sir. Hum. Sa. Hum. Uh, actually, this is an ascension sound given to me by Isis in the Isis temple. Um, uh, actually, each it will take you so deep in fifteen twenty minutes. You may have even ascension energy. It can take you very, very, very deep, and you will be able to connect with the higher aspects of yourself. Thank you so much, sir, for you your welcome. grace. Uh, yes. Sir, one one minute, sir. First, hum is H U M, sir. No, 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 no. A A U M. No, 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 no. A A double A. Double A. Okay, I I I'll, I'll type it here. Okay. See, um, A A M, yes, A A A, um. Um. Ah, uh, you you can chant slowly, softly, and with a yes. full feeling. Um. Ah. Uh, let it be very slow and steady. Um. Ah. Uh, you will have your own rhythm of doing it. But each time yes, you sir. do, it will take you go down. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you thank all you very, very, thank you all very, very, very much. Thank you. Anyone thank can you. do this? Anyone can do this? Of course, they can do. Yeah. Now, yeah, before was... I before I go, I want to show you. Uh, can you see Kuanin Kuanin statue with me behind Kuanin? Yeah. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you see the light coming out from last one week? The light has been coming out every day from the forehead and the heart. It's always blinking, all the time. Oh. No, but she's part of my family. So, like, see, can you see the light on her forehead? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, it's, yes. It's always, she's like twenty-four hours. She's always blinking light, you know. So, like Beautiful. a big sister. Like a big sister. <laughs> thank you very oh, much. How oh, lovely. Great. Thanks a lot to everybody, and uh, thank you, Saroja Golapalli, and uh, thank you, the Sai Krishna, and all organizers, and uh, thank you very, very, very much for the opportunity. Having Let's ra raise our right palm. 
that is all of the creator. Let's honor Mahatar Babaji and all other masters who support us. Namaste and thank you to all of you. Namaste. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very thank much, sir. Thank you sir. very much on behalf of the whole thank platform you. here. It has yeah, been an you. amazing session, sir. And we can't thank you enough for all the wisdom and grace that you have showered upon us today. Couple of things that you have shared with us were like diamonds for us. So we'll keep that for rest of our lives. We rest assure mm -hmm. you. And thank, thank you too. very much once again from this platform and the no, organizers. No, 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 I want to tell you one thing. Please, whether any, any message or any channeling or anything, please remember, you must always, your heart has the highest wisdom. Your heart is God. Love, see? Filter it to your heart. Don't blindly follow anything, anybody, anybody. It's time to come back into yourself. Take it to your heart and see whether, whether you feel resonance, whether you feel expansion, do you feel love? If not, set it aside, you see? No more right. guru worship. It's, we are all equal, always, you know? I always tell yeah. people, you know, nobody's higher or lower. See, we are all walking. Somebody walks faster. Somebody walks slow. But we are all walking, you see? So yes. there is no hierarchy. Oh, this guru, no, that era is finished. We are all, we are all walking towards light. That's all. So take it to your own heart and filter it. And if you feel resonance, if you feel love, if you feel expand, use it. Otherwise, leave that aside. That's it. Okay? Yeah. So you yeah. always come back to your heart. Very, very important. Your heart is the heart where God resides. Heart yeah, God. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Saraja Madam told, uh, we keep all the diamonds in our heart permanently. Uh, today is a great enlightenment day for all the family masters of PSS. Thank you. Thank you once again. Thank you. Thank Have you a great evening. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir. Namaste, sir. Thank you so okay, much. Sir. I Thank will you, send sir. I will send the book PDF to Sai and he can yeah. do it. Okay? Thank sure, you very sure. much. That will be great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, we want to thank Sai and Son Lata, ma'am, for organizing this wonderful session. Lot yeah, of yeah. Public masters have also attended. Last time I requested Suray sir also. Yeah, I am in yeah. Hyderabad. I am organizing, sir. If you want to join, you can join. Did you remember, yeah, sir? But, yeah, I remember, but I was busy in uh, some other.